our model of the argon atom. If you could follow it all the way into the center, you'd have uh, a double torus. Um, you'd have actually a, a single torus surrounded by a double torus, and then it jumps out to the first layer, um, and then it jumps out to the second layer. And this is the second layer. Neon would be the first one, argon would be the, the second one. So these are what we're postulating as the, the electrons in the outer shell, where it's basically a torus, but it's a torus, uh, it's not a thing, it's just whirling energy. And each torus is connected with, the whole, with er everything else, and it's connected with the center. So there's a vortex, there's a spiral vortex going all the way into the center in each of these. So we had to balance out how can the energy go in and the energy come out without colliding? Uh, and then how can all of these fit? What are the proportions at, at every scale? And so I'll show it to you moving again. So each one of those tori is, uh, is moving at the speed of light. And I don't know what speed the argon atom would be going at, but this is super fast. So what we were trying to do is say, okay, if you could fly down into an atom, what would it look like? And it ends up, you get a wheel works. And it, it, basically those 16 postulates ended up predicting every single layer of the periodic table where the number of protons and electrons uh, is consistent according to these basic patterns, but also the, the patterns as you're building out between layers where the vector equilibrium is the completeness, that's the noble gas, that's the inert elements. In between there, you have to go through these intermediate steps and it's all simply the, the most efficient energy patterns which end up being the platonic solids. So with those kinds of postulates, we ended up uh, illustrating the whole periodic table. So this, to me, is one way of looking at the, the wheel works. So it didn't really surprise me, even though it it's continues to thrill me, that every single lab that I've ever visited that is successfully accessing new energy um, is uh, in some way acknowledging or mimicking uh, the toroidal pattern.